Assalamu alaikum. Very interesting event today. All the topics are like time management, communication skills, and everyone today. This topic is also related to us, something technical, in information technology, and uh, augmented engineering. Which is basically in today's era of innovation and development, everything is changing around us. The ways and the means we communicate with the people and we entertain, we educate, and we socialize. All these things are transferring into the digital age. So technologies are evolving around us faster than even we thought what it would be. So one of these emerging technologies is the augmented, technology, augmented reality. I believe most of us know the augmented reality, but the most common word is virtual reality. So I am not sure how many of you are aware with the augmented reality. Anybody knows? I'm sure most of us we know that, but we did not pay any time any attention about it, what's real is. And our children are taking their selfies, our selfies, and playing with us with that, putting the different figures, features over it, some goggles, some caps, some other things all. This is the augmented reality. That is what we call it as Snapchat filters. Uh, is, uh, so uh, let's, what is augmented? So the, uh, the word augmented is to enhance something, to add something, to increase the value. So from that background, the augmented reality. The augmented reality is nothing but uh, a technology that superimposes virtual computer generated material in real time. By saying that real time means in the real reality, when we are doing something at that time, we are superimposing something on the real figures that is augmented reality. On the view of the real world, providing an integrated view. Simply it means seeing reality, but with some virtual things on it. No, this is not artificial. This, this is augmented. In artificial reality, in my following, I, I clarify it just to differentiate between what is real, virtual and what is augmented. Augmented is as simple as the word augmented. The meaning of augmented is to enhance something by adding. So, in the real world, in our real world, by adding some artificial component to it, we are enhancing that real world experience. That is called augmented reality. So, if we take further, look, these are the snapchats. Exactly what's happening here. The, these hands and figures are the real figures. But we are applying the filters of the snapchat over it as if it is happening in the real world, as if happening in our hand. So basically this is, we never notice this. Children are playing and the Snapchat filters are always available. And since last about 10 years, but now the technology has developed and is entered into most of the parts of the life and whether it's a business, it's a advertisement, it's engineering, medicine, everywhere the development is happening, people are adopting this augmented reality. The other options are like AR used in shopping, that's augmented reality. Means initially, Snapchat people are just playing with the photographs only. So why not that bring that photograph, that, that same concept into the business field? So the business uh, people, they came up with the softwares, like if you are buying experience, anything like online shopping we do. In, in any shopping for online shopping, whether we are buying clothes or the, like watches and all, we can try between the real versus virtual. Means like at our wrist, it's the real hand, the real wrist, we are putting the virtual image of the watches to look which suits best and what one we like it. This is one of the softwares available that developed by the Rolex and it's very one you can try by sitting at home, different types of. The another is augmented reality used in the interior design. Let's see how the people are thinking 
and developing the technology. It started from a simple games and all. Basically, the augmented reality was initially developed for the industrial, medical, and the military use applications, just to train the people by giving the real life experiences, like field experiences, uh, in front. So this was the basically its developed from that aspects, like almost uh, ten years before. But from that, the concept grown, and it has been the first one who adopted was the commercial purpose, advertisement purpose. So right now, there are many advertisements, very best ads, uh, apps, applications are available. Even we can see it's on our uh, smartphones, many, many different apps, whether it's Apple or Android based. Like one of the ad advertisement is the interior designing. Like if you are buying some furniture, by sitting at home, in our living room or in our drawing room, we can feel the full dimensional furniture. Like if we want to buy a sofa set, like in this photograph, by the augmented reality application, just take the, throw our cameras, just open our camera in the room and select the figures. Like one of the most common is, anyone can download also or might have download, it is one is IKEA Place. It's by name IKEA Place. This is a very beautiful app available, free download on the Android and Apple. So just download and open the catalog on the computer, you know, in, so, sorry, on the smartphone itself and select any furniture and look and feel where to put, whether it will fix or not and whether it's matched with our interiors or not. It's a real three-dimension figure. So this is the augmented reality, where we are bringing in our real world, where is our living room, drawing room environment, and we are imposing artificial, virtual images just to feel it. And like IKEA, they, they develop the whole furniture catalog, and it is available, virtually available. So by doing that, we can feel, and we can select, we can decide. That's another is the augmented reality, Pokemon Go game. As if the Pokemon is coming in our real world, running, walking on the street, and people are trying to catch, and from where to where it has done, but we know that all children play this. So this is another augmented reality. The main focus is, the introduction of this augmented reality here is how this is going to apply in the engineering field. And we do the projects for everybody, and when we need to adopt that technology in our field, and look, the people who adopted this, the business has changed totally. And not, I gave the three examples here for the shopping, for the interior design, and for the entertainment games and all, but it has been adopted in many different fields. And one of the cosmetic company who developed this, and because of applying this software, the billions of business has been developed in like about 30% increase that business. Just people are sitting, trying at home, a different type of cosmetics at home, and whatever they like, just putting the order and getting it. So the same concept, now growing and evolving, how we can use in the engineering field. And not only in the engineering field, this is further adopting in a different medicine line, medicals and all, everywhere it's going to happen. So let's, the question was here, before I move further, let me clarify the difference between augmented and the virtual reality. In virtual reality, virtual reality refers to the computer generated simulation in which a person can interact within the artificial 3D environment. By saying this, virtual reality, by saying that it has nothing to do with the real reality. That's as I explained in the augmented, we are mixing the two things. But virtual is totally virtual. You put the lenses, on your eyes and you are getting disconnected with the real world and you are entering into the virtual world. And virtual world has also grown very fast and there are a lot of applications, entertainment, many things are there. And even this was used in a different, but everything was virtual. Virtual experiences was given, not the real experiences. So by saying this 3D environment is using special electronic devices such as special goggles with a sensor or globes fitted with the sensors because when we experience the virtuality, virtual reality, we feel also some. Like if you are watching a movie by putting, putting the goggles, we feel as if we are part of that virtuality. So the, this is the difference. It's totally virtual. And augmented is, is the combination of real feeling with the augmented. 
Look, most of us we know what is this. <laughs> but this is like starting, let's see, in the 1962. And after a journey of 50, 60 years. In reality, this is a virtual reality. How we feel when we as a kids, when we used to watch this, we, we see what we used to say. Three-dimensional images, three-dimensional images. How this three-dimensional is coming just because of virtual arrangement. Basically, this is a stereoscope. As you see, there are two lenses, but from the two lenses, we look the same image. The technique behind is, it's nothing, if you take out the real, if you see, it's not a 3D dimension. But what virtuality here is, from the two lens, we are seeing a same scene, but with a little difference in the scene. Our eye track has been separated, our two eyes are totally separated through a, a partition in the, between the two lens. So when we see an, a scene with little difference, when it, our mind reads, it reads as a three-dimensional. So that, in that way we used to see the 3D effect in this. So this is the 1962. And let's see what's after a journey of 50 years and more. This is today's virtual reality. Google Daydream View. What's happening? They develop the lens and directly we are putting our uh, smartphone, close it and run the software applications and we enter into the virtual world. So this is the virtual, virtual reality. Now, go back to that with our aim or topic today is the augmented reality. I try to be, make it very simple without going into the technicality of it because my aim is to look into the applications, how it's going to apply in engineering. So let's, the type of augmented reality, there are three, four different types. The first is, it is called marker-based augmented reality. The AR word I use as augmented reality. What is marker-based augmented reality? Every day our experience, when we go to the supermarket, when we go scan the barcode, we get the information, the price and all that. But the barcode, the, the barcode which is on the product, it is called a single line bar, barcode. It gives only this specific information. But we have seen the QR barcodes also. Nowadays everybody is using the QR barcodes. It's a two dimensional barcodes. It's, it gives a lot of information related to address, related to company profiles, related to the websites and all. So the two dimensional barcode can store much more information that is one dimensional barcode. So similarly, augmented reality came up with the barcodes of the two dimensional and three dimensional. The, if the moment we scan, if it is the barcoded figure, the immediately that will give us the three dimensional effect. So like in this marker based augmented reality, there is a wheel and there is a barcode. Just it's a marker actually. Just scan that marker through an application and we'll read the three-dimensional figure. The other part is a markless, markerless augmented reality. Or we are using the GPS system and we are using the GPS system only for the linker. But when we take the street view of the Google Maps and the information and all, this is another augmented reality application type. And this nowadays is a lot of in circulation and all, but the, this technology is coming up. It's very simple. It's a projection based. And keep in mind, and when we go for application, this is the application in the engineering, the projection based reality or augmented reality. And the last one is the superimpo superimposition based. So basically, and for the different type of the work, different type of the technology, different we have the types of the augmented reality. How does augmented reality work? It's a very simple process. We need a camera and sensor just to take the real world experience to get it. And through the applications, we get the three-dimensional virtual figures. And both mix in a processor and it gives as a display for the viewers to look and feel it. So the here, camera and sensors, can be anything. Right now we are using, as we have seen is in Snapchats and others, our smart phone cameras. But when we, we can have 
different type of the cameras also and the display also can be anything. It can be same smartphone, it can be any other process as we go and we'll see. Look, displays, basically we categorize, the field is categorized into two parts, augmented reality display it can happen on the screen of the uh, smartphone or its iPod or iPad, anything, and the other is the head mounted because in many applications we need our hands free to work and that's, that is on this technology itself. So monitor based and head mounted based. Head mounted based is nothing but glasses, many different types and monitor based we have any, any monitor display. Okay, now this was the introduction, let's see all this, how it's going to apply in the real engineering field, in the application. Application of uh, augmented reality on this first image. Basically, before let me give you the brief. As we know in the introduction in augmented reality, what is happening in the real field? We are bringing bringing the some virtual images to fill it. So, what's bringing in the engineering the virtual images? So now it is the BIM based softwares. All our design, building information, modeling, and all it's BIM based. That BIM-based models can be integrated with the augmented reality. So no more a designer is developing in AutoCAD or on the drawings, two-dimensional drawings, a figure. But instead of that, if we develop on a BIM-based, like one of the common software in the BIM-based is the Revit, instead of AutoCAD Revit. So if we develop a model of the building or any project into a BIM-based software, and that can be integrated with the augmented reality. So here in this, with the, pro, with the help of this uh, head mounted glasses, uh, the model can be displayed on in a real world, but as a full scale model also. So that's the technology is moving fast. So it is already is applying, it's implementing a lot of presentations can happen with it, where we can give the presentations. And similarly on the other side, it's it's a monitor based 3D image of a project. Just because if you do a design nowadays with a barcode, if I give you a plan, two-dimensional drawing with a barcode, if anybody scan that barcode with a proper augmented reality application we will get the three dimensional, no need to have a separate drawing, we will get the three dimensional models. So this is uh, one of the application and in architecture, it helps in many ways the augmented reality. First, whether it's a design, it's a presentation and it's getting the information from a different, if you are sitting here and if you are designing a project some different part of the world, and from there directly we can link the site, bring it into the real field with the connection of the GPS and the model can be developed and it can place at the real project site uh, through the which uh, augmented reality. So that's the application in the architecture. So nowadays, all the, most of the, uh, first of all, in uh, people adopted the Revit design because it is being the BIM based. But we, if you look, the application of the BIM based is not only related to the design, it has a further applications like one of the example that BIM based models can bring into as an artificial, as a virtual model into the augmented reality. Okay. Similarly, giving a presentation to the clients, an architect can prepare a design and he can give a presentation as if a full scale model. Uh, let's see in the other part. Look, design phase model. This is a virtual model or a meeting table and it is can like we we view propose basically during the design phase it proposes a 3D model in the actual environment. Similarly, it combines 3D architecture layout of buildings with GPS data and location to get a 3D concept of where things need to go. This model, the beauty of this model is it's not a fixed model like in our regular traditional conventional drawing. If we draw a 3D model to a particular scale, it will remain as a particular size. But it can be increased, decreased, it can rotate, and you can walk in also in the model itself. 
This is one of the application in the architecture. Let's come to the construction field. How it can be applied to the augmented reality to the construction field? Look, the one side is the bottom. If you suppose, of course, nowadays it looks like this is not a practical approach, but the models on the Revit and beam based models are so detailed that in reality we are constructing whole building on this before constructing at site. So visual models but very detailed models. So this is a, if one of the reinforcement details, the model has been developed and it can be checked but just by through a scanner. Nobody, no need to go to the site to walk and measure to touch. Just what's happening in this? It's very simple. In the device, in the iPad, you have your visual model based, beam based model. Go to the site, activate it and superimpose it on the, the reality is the site. The real world is the site. And just the overlapping, superimpose. What is showing the red one? Red one is showing that it's indicating that it's not matching. Basically, we are superimposing two images. One is the real image at the site, one is our planned image. We want the real image as we plan. So when we go to site, superimpose it. If any deviations, discrepancies, if the software notices, it will indicate. So it is indicating that at the red place there is a still ring is missing. So it's indicating. So this is one of the. And look other side of the head mounted. Basically, this is a HoloLens, Microsoft HoloLens 2. It has been recently launched last month in September by Microsoft. This is a full-fledged computer on head. Because now the computer technology is reaching into the fourth generation of the computer technology. The first was our mainframes where we used to walk into the big rooms to interact with the computers. In the second generation, the computer came to our home as a desktop, as a laptop. In the third generation, all over these gadgets, devices, laptops, iPads, uh, iPhones and all. But in the fourth generation, it's coming overhead. So this Microsoft HoloLens 2 is having a full-fledged window-based processor. So through this processor, in a simple words, it has several different types of the cameras. You might have noticed that nowadays, all my, what we call it as Smartphones are coming with multiple number of cameras. One of the reason of this multiple cameras are this augmented reality also. Because this needs a wide-angle camera and it needs another camera to reach the distance and the depth of the images and another different type of the cameras to, uh, what we call it as to get a different environmental catch to, uh, uh, capture. So the cameras are coming, the iPhones and the coming are many different, uh, multiple cameras I should say. Even four, five, six cameras in future will come. Already three to four cameras are in the market now. That's the reason multiple cameras. On this headphone you see there, there are the three cameras. Uh, just the main purpose of this is to read the real image, virtual image, sorry. Just on our eyesight, we'll have a virtual image that is a full-fledged model what we design. Just wear it, go to the side, activate it, just walk. So as if you are superimposing something on the real world. So no need to hold the drawing, read and all, just it's virtual and superimposing and feel what are the differences and this is the headphone in the construction of the And the other part is it's not only related to the construction, Okay. Uh, operation and maintenance phase also. Just imagine in the operation and maintenance phase, what we have, we have embedded elements, we don't know where it is. Instead of going, breaking everywhere and finding, just go with the as built information, superimpose the image and directly open it and do. these are the things. Another is in the bottom is uh, super installation, what you are looking through the another same concept superimposing the virtual with the actual. And with this I finish, this is the last slide. There is no sound? No sound. Anyway, the, I, will be, I will give this. I, I kept, basically this is walking with the HoloLens, just at the side, and connected with the GPS system. 
and just superimposing this color image on the real white uh, woodwork just to see is there any what you say uh, clash of the services look watch here take the measurement visual Yeah, depending on the what model you have, it is it's comparing virtual model with the real model, superimposing. If any discrepancy between virtual and real, it will detect nothing more than that. Take the photo through the same lens, camera is there, and send the photos to the designers or whoever uh, by the email or on the spot, and this this will happen and action will be taken. So the message here is. Okay, the augmented reality is there, and the technology is there. Softwares are there, and still it is developing. And there are the many issues needs to be addressed because the, by saying it's very simple, superimposing the two images. But the importance is how accurate it can be superimposed. If we cannot, if little bit gap between the transmissions, still it is there. So this is still under research, and people are addressing and solving because. Internet facilities are becoming very fast. Five uh, G and all with that, it's helping. And uh, on the other side, the goggles or glasses are head-mounted. So there are many still points to be considered. But this is going to the reality. This is no more a like a dream or something. It's implementing. We are doing a project, and it is under discussion that. a model to be displaced whether it should be a real model or should be a augmented model and we are planning to displace a augmented model of those years or days gone making a big full size model of the project and all just it's a continuous like hololens you have seen that so you we can display a complete augmented model so by saying here is for us to start is the big AutoCAD, okay, it was a good in last two three de decades, I should say, it was a very good tool, but the technology has changed. Auto from AutoCAD, most of the world has moved, and there is it's going on transformation from AutoCAD to the Revit base. And the reason is Revit. Not only Revit, there are many BIM based softwares are available, but most popular is one is the Revit. So if we start as engineers practicing the Revit developing. it will help whether it's in design construction operation maintenance everywhere because one model if we develop as a concept stage it will take until operation and maintenance throughout the life of the projects the same will move so we no need to discard we no need to change the drawings documents always update same model will be continue only the model information to keep on adding with that until the operations with that i close thank you very much